All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Old World Blues mod as MacArthur, the Montana Enclave. And, of course, the Colonel Ellen Santiago. Yes, uh, last episode was largely an episode of building up. We got quite a lot of these folks done. I'm going to leave out the, the military tree for a while. kind of want to get some conquest done, to be honest. Especially seeing as how we have uh, Havra beating, uh, breathing down our necks. The, uh, the hotfix for Tino came out finally... The Harbin 3 can have each other's generals again. It was really awkward as, as a Mur having, like, what, four unit commanders? I mean, you had Marshal Cotton, and but you can kill him. Not, not that you ever should. You you, got, you had Marshal Cotton, then you had Tirson, you had Shekarev, and you had Agaev. And that was literally it. And bear in mind, two of those guys are already multitasking. And multitasking, because Shekarev's leader of the Black Shirts, and Cotton is simultaneously the party secretary of the RFP, in addition to just being head of government, I can't wait for all those uh, ministers to get expanded so that you can have more than like four. <laughs> it's crazy. But now, Shield of Humanity. Army experience plus 15, air experience plus 15, gain base conflict score plus 2.5%. Mutant schools, mutant schools with guns. <laughs> yeah. The wasteland is full of many threats, but the Enclave is here to protect you and to rebuild America. So, I've been talking um, with a few people on Discord about which path I'm going to do. I, can, I, I honestly can't remember if I mentioned it in yesterday's episode. I apologize if I already did. But we're going to go with Ellen Santiago. We're going to stick with the Colonel. There's three choices. There's basically... I, actually, I think I did talk about this. I remember saying these words before. Um, there's three choices. There's basically become NCR Light or something like that. Or maybe even link up with the NCR. Or just you know join their faction. Maybe even get annexed by them. Who knows? I haven't really looked at it. But either way, I'm not doing it. We have... There's that path, the leftmost path. Then there's the middle path, the colonel path. And then there's the rightmost path, the enclave. The full enclave path, shall we say. Now, apparently, uh, a guy named Russian Orc on Discord, and that's him calling himself that, not me calling him that, uh, said that... What should we call it? Most uh, YouTubers have apparently been playing the full enclave path, which just makes even uh, which just makes even more reason for us to go with the colonel. And plus, I don't know why we would pick the full enclave path. They don't have their full content yet because the Midwest is not yet uh, here. But when they do, when the Midwest does uh, get content, we'll absolutely do the full enclave path. What else was there? Yeah, I think that was about it. I'm actually I'm having great fun with that wheel spinner. Oh my god, I'm having a massive amount of fun with it. You'll see when we uh, when we go for the next series. Uh, I think I'll make that like a staple of the uh, of the channel for for a while anyway, because I get great crack out of it. See, see, it's it's a surprise. Well, not a surprise. Like it, it's a lot of fun for me when I'm picking a new series. It's not any fun for you because you can see the thumbnail of the video, so you already know what you're going to see. But I see I don't at the time of recording that, so uh, yeah, I kind of get to. I have a bit of enjoyment out of it, but yeah, I'm after finding this thing that I can do with the wheel spinner, and oh my god, it is a lot of crack. It is, yeah, I'll be uh, showing it off the next time we next time we use it, which will be after this series. Alright, we're over the monthly tick, that's fantastic. So, who do we have? Who do we have here in Havre? Jacqueline Marrow. Okay, she's trying to keep things quiet, really? You invaded somebody. Huh. Then we have... It's Tappy. Let's see, yeah, is that a double I? Yeah, it is. Chief Jeremy Oldgun. Wow. Jeremy. The Blackfoot Confederacy? Didn't Caesar integrate a tribe called the Blackfoot? Or is this a different one? Then we have Yellowstone Park. And then by first ecologist, Sebastian. I think the, uh, the Russians have a anti... Ship missile system called Bastion. Bastion P, is it? I think that's the one. The tribes and peoples of Yellowstone. Yeah, we need that. We need those resources. Geothermal energy. Probably one of my one of my top three uh, renewable energy sources. It's like that, solar, and wind. Not big on tidal. Um, because it kills fish. Not big on hydroelectric, because you have to flood usually farmland to get it. What else is there? about it. W wind is loud and annoying, but if you, like, like Ireland has a, a couple of uh, decent-sized islands, well, Ireland is itself an island, you know, so ideally we should just relocate everyone from those islands and just make massive wind farms out of them, that would be nice. Ah, yes. Oh, we can't help them. Oh, shit. Why can't we send them anything? Are we, uh, are we skint? We're skint. Shit, they, they couldn't take some composite materials? Do they not want that composite materials? Is the good stuff. Ooh. Okay, that was a 
with a 15% stability hit we just took. Am I going to let that slide? Hmm. I don't know about that one. I mean, they had stuff. They just could have asked for it. Nah, nah, fuck that. They could have... We could have... They could have asked for some composite materials. I ain't taking that. <laughs> Give my stability back. God damn it. Now. Hmm. 30 days for war. 2,200. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And these are like... These are good troops as well. I understand the, that 600 of them aren't fully trained, but surely... We do some nice maneuver or something like that. Get some conquest going. That'll be nice. That'll be real nice. Or we go for Yellowstone Park. I don't, that puts us down kind of south, though. Nothing much happens. Oh, no, no. That, that puts us in the way of the 80s. Do, do the 80s go that, that far north? I don't think they do. Uh, uh, ooh, 250 plasma rifles. Units of plasma rifle as well, so that's like the, that's like infantry equipment. Oh, so that's a plasma. No, no, that's not a plasma. That's a plasma defender. Yeah, from New Vegas, probably from Fallout One or Two, but I haven't played those. Don't really intend on doing so either. You often hear a lot of Fallout fans. Yeah, man, I can't wait to play the old games now. <laughs> I have no intention of playing the isometric games. I just no. I'm good. Yeah, how many men uh, does Yellowstone have? I'm going to assume it's less than uh, Haver. Where the hell am I? There we are. 2k. Mm. Like a basketball game. So we have 12 units plus another. By me, yes, 17. We can hang. EPA remnants, crazy lad. Yeah, I feel like we could take Havre. Shelter from a storm. Grants the MacArthur Detachment claims on and unlocks territory. Dispute decisions for the Stormmongers' former core territories. So the Stormmongers' depraved cult is a threat to all of the wasteland and to our fair citizens in Montana. If we're going to help the great work, we're going to have to liberate the people of Great Falls, which is here. Yeah, that's the one. Is that all former Stormmonger? Oh, they had claims on that, but this is core. Yeah. After this, I How long are you taking to train up, goddammit? Ah, it's 0.75 a day. That's fair enough. That's a training. Fantastic. I feel like our land doctrine is far ahead of what most other contenders have at this stage. I pray it is, anyway. How are we doing? Tech level gesture. I clicked on that. Uh, not this either. Engineering. How are we doing? Yeah, go for that. Back to tubes. Oh, is it? Basic training appointments. What's that about? Well, I, I can guess, you know, but... Ooh, 400 days. That's 100 command power, though. It's a, it's a decent bit. Yeah, we need to get more of that. Or, do, do we even have enough? Do we even have factory? No, we don't. What are we on? We're on a wasteland economy. Yeah, if we can just get to war. Oh, wait, oh, oh okay, okay, never mind, actually. Yeah, we can go straight to well-equipped army. Yeah. NCR going after the divide. Sad Ulysses noises. F I mean, yeah, 59, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to go straight to every car for the army, hopefully. That'll be very nice. That'll be... 15% consumer goods gone. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm going to let you finish training. We've got a nice industry. A very nice industry already. Oh, okay. Apparently that wasn't enough to take us over. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Fans know how. I mean, yeah, go for it. Wow, that is a lot. Either way, special forces supply use minus 3% is the main thing there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause the recording and close my window because I can hear the neighbors talking out there. Now, oh, there we are. So, yes. Um, yes, Russian Orc was also telling me that we need to have more 
intellectual support then, ruler support when we get down to this ribbon of focuses, otherwise we'll get cooed. So the choice here is between elites and ruler. That's not great. How, how are we... Oh, what was that? Are we going to get all of you? Wow. So, do we have an intellectuals? Minister? That would be great. Let that be a problem for later on. As for now, hey. yeah, give me some pistol power. Hello, sir. I'll deploy you. What do you need? Unfortunately, we don't have another unit commander for you. Hey. But I suspect you won't particularly need it. Because you are power armor. Do they even have troops out there? I think they, yeah. Actually, I'll send four units Hello, in total to Carter. Is that, yeah, Carter. Weapons to repair. So tired. We can just have three After this, I have on some weapons this front repair. and three on the other. We only have three fronts in total. That's perfect. Hey. For 60%. Just need to be at war now, I think. It's going to be quite the change. Crazy that crazy that uh, it all just costs 150. Doesn't matter how many moves we move. Doesn't matter how many levels we move. So tired. Okay, it's good enough for me. Wait. Did we not just get a, a what? I could... I'm sorry, did we not just get a... Am I crazy? Yeah. Claims on unlocked territory dispute decisions for the Star Monk. Okay. Okay, so we have claims. We have claims. How do we... You know, how do we get the territory? I was expecting just a clear war. I should have noticed that the lack the lack of a war goal. Is it is it on the states thing? How do we How do we You know? Could we just justify them? Yeah, surely. Hundred AF eh. That's not great no. Territory dispute decisions. Can I can I see some of those? That'd be great. Uh, not really seeing it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna declare war because I can. Play by the rules? No, I don't think so. Besides, I didn't get my territory dispute decision, so I have to do this. After this, I have some weapons to repair. After this, I have some weapons to repair. After this, I have some weapons to repair. So tired. What do you need? Hopefully we should be able to just waltz right in. Seems to be going well enough so far. Hello, sir. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, you're not. After this, I have some weapons to repair. You're mine. 
Hello, sir. What do you need? So tired. What do you need? Oh, the war. war oh, we actually don't have enough yet. Okay. We should have enough soon? Yeah. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, before it falls again. It actually just fell down below. Yeah, there we go. Now we have factories. Yes, we have factories, thank God. Scale back the vault city and ports. Up here. Now turning for the Brotherhood. New cannon, we will take one. All right, do we have enough? We have enough, good. We're actually cut off. Would you look at that? I've got you now. Yeah, I wouldn't be giving them anything anyway. Now, patronize historians, since the historians fled to MacArthur, they've found a welcome role in our ranks. Perhaps it is time to give them even greater support knowing our past never harmed anyone. <laughs> Not the Enclave's past. 175 political power, 5% base stability, uh, lose 50,000 caps. Okay. Okay, we actually failed to take... Uh, Great Falls, that's fine. Oh, how could I forget about our gunships? God damn it. That's my apologies. This should greatly help. You're no match for us. of all these moving vehicles. Like, this is just power armored infantry. So tired. So tired. So tired. Yep. Do it so based on the tired. rivers. Okay. Casualties, they've got to be pretty good, right? Oh, five? I didn't think they would be that good. Five to one thousand. Hey, yeah, that's that's uh, that's very good. Go, go, go! Ah, shit. After this, I have some weapons over here. Yes, 
tools. What do you need? Of course, I forget, in Old World Blues, these aren't rail lines, these are roads. Actually paved line. roads, tarmac. Probably haven't lost a mighty uh, single man since. Sending rocks and warriors to us in return for our offer. Who? Did we make someone? Oh, we did. Lakota Auxiliaries. It has come to the Colonel's attention that she could use a force uh, relying solely on her for support. Why not turn to Shappa Wagner for help? It will have a price, but you get what you pay for. Standing Rock gets around the ground in a tradition resilient in spirit. If the Standing Rock accepts, we will gain more manpower and intellectual support. 10% intellectual support. Fantastic. 500 manpower, 10 hour experience, 50,000 caps gone. Nice, uh, icon. Fox. Or wolf. Sergeant's fantastic. After this, I have some weapons to repair. After this, I have some weapons to repair. So tired. And that is that. Largely. Those are that's a great exchange rate. Place of honor, it's called. Hello, sir. <laughs> Who lives there? The Knights of Honor and Duty. Hello, sir. What do you need? After this, I have some weapons to repair. Hello, sir. What do you need? Two fifteenth. Never forget it. After this, I have some weapons to repair. After this, I have some weapons to repair. Is that their entire army gone? Nice. That is a fantastic first showing, I have to say. More resources secured? Not many, though. Not a whole pile. Oh, they will be useful to keep uh, Chicago off our backs. Now administering the territory, that's the first thing. Bruh, it still has to have the fucking 95% compliance and less than 20% resistance even though we're not getting a core on it, that sucks. Let's get the militia templates, garrisoning. Tribute, no. Metal mouths, where are you? There you are. Ah, God, you're ugly. Oh, what does that say? Fabrication laboratory. So tired. Huh. Level four. I need some land. What do you need? Go for power armor. How many incursions? One, two, three? Not too sure about that third one. No, no. Actually, yeah, three here. Hey. Hey.
Go, pop you here. Okay. Oh, so that is one. Oh, it's this. It's here. I never noticed that. Damn it. Well, let's hope we can conquer the place fast enough. We really need another uh, unit leader. The Lions in Winter gets my heroes of another story. Be warned, a ghoul who fought for America may not look favourable on the Enclave. Not everyone in the North wishes to rule through firepower or the ancient ways. It seems that this old country has a few heroes left. After all, rather than work safely with the Wardens, let me tell you of an America... Uh, of an American who's been fighting since the Great War for truth and justice and the American way, even if his skin, even if his skin is falling off. Gets event heroes of another story. Yes, nice. Is that is that your one from Fallout New Vegas? Beatrix, Beatrice. In all their travels across the north, Team October never found a group which warmed their hearts the way the Lionhearted did. They said old soldiers never died in here up north. That may well be true. Uh, Harris had only a few foggy stories to tell of the pre-war era time that fell from his memory, save for bits and pieces. What was the Nuka world? That what was Camp Turtle Dove? And why, given all its achievements, was he so, so skeptical of the Enclave? They even fought together once at the Everest Hotel, a cannibal outpost that held dominion over hundreds of people. And while most of the stories about their relationships were false, no one would deny that Elena learned a thing or two. One day, old friends, I may ask for you for a favor. Thirty-five army experience to pace our friends out the wasteland. Who knows? Maybe something to do with breaking free from Chicago. Oh, I reckon we go straight onto uh, Yellowstone. Just turn this down slightly. Now we'll give you. Yeah, there we are. Give you some uh, energy. Falls off. Rats, hate them. How many people did we just take? Oh, 77,000. We just took uh, under our watchful gaze. No, not auxiliaries. What template do the auxiliaries use? Just regular infantry, that's fine. More of these, please. Okay, we're back on top. 43. Good. Any unique pre-war uh, pre or no? Uh, major businesses? Doesn't appear to be any. Hit and run, good. Stealing far from the gods grants the MacArthur attachment claims on a war goal for the Yellowstone Park's core territories. Yellowstone is home to one of Poseidon Energy's greatest pre-war projects, but the idealists and dreamers who occupy Yellowstone today do nothing with it. Gala's riches are, Gala's riches are there for the taking, a power so or a source that could fire the industry of the north, indeed. Hey. We have medals. What was it? Seized airfields at Shelby, secured Geraldine and Shelby from Havre forces, Took part in the siege of Great Falls was cited for continued action in eastern Montana. Fantastic, we have our war goal. They also cut off trade with us, which is, you know, fair enough. Need to do this stuff to, uh, Ooh, another 5% support there for intellectuals. Ooh, another 5 there. Fantastic. Gee. 
same plasma Washington you wait what with our control secured now we can fully equip our troops with the plasma weapons did you know that the founding fathers used such weapons to kill George the third oh my god I'm loving that enclave historical revisionism after this I have some weapons to repair what do you training need? yeah what other uh, medals are there is that the same one? Took part in the occupation of Havre, former seat of Havre government, yeah. Seized airfields at Rocky Boys. Bald City, thank you for the resources. I think we're ready to go. Hoping that we can rapidly overwhelm them. So tired. Oh yes, it would appear to be quite rapid, alright. Yes, the gunships. Oh, we lost about eight gunships, I think, in that war. Just lost one more there. Practically falling out of the sky. After this, I have some weapons to repair. After this, I have some weapons to repair. attack you're no match for us now oh, break out into the operational depths through a canyon The Gibsonville Outpost. Yeah, I'll take that. Gibsonville has been a battle since the Great War, but it still guards the routes from Idaho with proper fortifications of the region. We can cut Heaven's Gate off in the passes. Ah, fantastic. Elkabend got uh, two out. Oh, yeah, a total of eight outposts. Fantastic. think he'd be defending your, you know, home territory around. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're getting close to the VP, though. After this, I have some weapons to repair. I've got you now. So tired. Hey. Mighty. Well, really now we're like the metal mouth of the northern cans, and we'll be looking uh, kind of square ish, very, very ish on that. And it's tappy as well. This, I have some weapons to repair. Oh, 
Uh, the old museum, Bozeman, gets the production of five... What's that? Uh, like complicated circuitry or something? It's not composite materials. I know that much. Yeah, circuitry. We got two 25% resource bonuses for electronics technology and the 5% support for the people. Bozeman was once held, uh, was once hold to the American Computer and Robotics Museum. At the time, these were obsolete artifacts. These, these old devices are the wasteland's cutting edge and beyond. Yeah. Funny how that works. Hey. Nice. Who's next? So many focuses to do. Hate <laughs> Sigma. Speaking of the scissors of steel, how far? Yeah, not that far away from them, to be honest. Let's get this Prometheus Bound. Oh, yes, this will be about that Yellowstone. Get to vent the flame, I'd fire it with control of Yellowstone. The Colonel must decide what to do with the Hephaestus project. So many options are before her, indeed. Now we have a decent amount of political power, so let us spend some of it. Uh, funny that we can get this as the enclave of all people. Really not which might be bad for uh, coring. Jeffrey Sun, ten percent monthly population, starting compliance and extra five water. Responsible for water purification in Montana. Jeffrey is responsible for economic reconstruction due to personnel shortages. Criticized at times for wasting resources on wastelanders. He and his team have made sure that the enclave in America have enough men to fight on. Perhaps one day he'll be able to see old glory flying proudly from sea to shining sea. Sounds sounds a lot like uh, Colonel Augustus Autumn on the East Coast. Water purification, enclave. Now, what have we got for us? At long last, our scientists discovered the secrets of the Hephaestus project, but what shall we do with this power? Chicago would prefer we divert the energy back to them, of course. They would have vital resources for their war against the Midwest Brotherhood, but Rodriguez would argue the energy serves a valuable role for the region and could. Yes, we'll feed your industry. And could. Further industrial development. In this scenario, we might still send uh, still, uh, still send resources to Chicago, but it would be processed uranium, coal, and other riches pulled from the mountains. And then there is Maria, the colonel's daughter. Maria proposes. I th thought her name was. Uh, what do you need? Martha. Or does, does that say Martha? No. Look, says Maria. Proposes we share the power with the people. People power, a novel idea, might at least gain support among the locals. Uh, but it will certainly anger the Secret Secretary of the Interior. Can we truly risk that? The first families can use it. Wait, any, any uh, intellectual support? Not. Wow. 10% elite support. Minus 3% base stability. 100 political power. We share it with our fellow Americans. 5% reduction to research speed to Chicago. Withdraw support. 1,000 manpower. 10% people support. 100 political power. And this would be the Brotherhood. That sends it to Chicago. Or no. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that, sorry. This keeps it. 20% rules for Yeah, that's definitely an enclave path choice. 50 units of T-51B and 100 units of plasma rifles. 5% bonus to research speed from Chicago. Well, obviously we're not doing that. Uh. I mean, is there an elite's path? I don't think so. Because this is the people's path. Huh. <laughs> 
all men are created equal. Now we're going to write ghouls into the sequel. See, that's a feral ghoul. You don't want to write the ferals in. You want to write the, the non-ferals in. So yeah, where? So that's that's NCR path. That's Enclave path. This seems kind of safe. Force families can use this energy. 100 people power, 10% elite support, and minus 3% base ability. Is that, uh, is that Mike Hearn? Mike O'Hearn? Is it Mike Hearn or Mike O'Hearn? The guy the, uh, Hathaway Waters love song plays whenever he's on screen. <laughs> The new home for old men after so long on the margins of the wasteland started granite and his boys found a home five percent intellectual support a detachment of enclaves soldiers remained on the west coast the mercenaries perhaps it is time to call them home rather than waste our time serving the salvatores or the van graffs after all we can think of no better men to garrison granite company than these fine fellows shifting alliances she stayed as joined the ncr okay all going well we will not be fighting the ncr on this playthrough Oh, Hoover Dam. Usually it's the NCR that wins, as is, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't want to say historical, but canon, you know. Please don't we get some. Okay, we got some units. Can we get some? Uh, some units. Some. Oh, thank God. Sergeant Grant. What do you need? What do you need? Hello, sir. They're good too. After this, I have some weapons to repair. Got your templates. Damn, be good. Wow. What do you need? What do you need? I think we can get quite a more, uh, quite a few more uh, unit leaders. They're just, they seem to mainly just be locked behind focuses. Oh, this is the uh, Tlay, uh, Tlaylock scream song. <laughs> they made a fucking song out of his death sound. What do you need? After this, I have some weapons to repair. So tired. What do you need? Is that, is that another front right there? God damn, we need two. We need three more unit commanders. God damn. Hey. Granite. Uh, yeah, all the regular ones. Pain train. Local. No. Life giver. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's perfect. That's perfect. And trader. Yeah, we'll go for Aaron Graham. 
Daily Pistol Power Gain plus 0 0.05. Consumer Goods Factory is minus 2%. Trade Daily Pinion Factory plus 15%. Daily People's Poor plus 0 0.01. One of the only members of the Enclave State Department, Graham, is relied upon to engage in diplomacy with the outside world. Graham's exposure to Wasteland has given him a more tolerant view than most, and his willingness to compromise makes him a bit of an outlier. Pushed to MacArthur due to a turf war with the Department of the Interior, who also asserts dominion over all relationships with the American Wasteland. Graham may yet prove useful to the Enclave. Fallout 4 character model. The old world wall holds. As was expected. Hmm. Who's that? We'll, we'll read about this uh, guitar factory. 50,000 caps, 5% based ability. 5% people support. Bozeman was home to a mighty guitar factory before the war and craftsmen continue this tradition to this day, although some of the songs are surprisingly unorthodox and could deny the sweet sounds they play. Walking tanks. Fantastic. Yeah, if we can just get one more army experience, we can get a boost to our research. Yeah, dynamite, all that good stuff. Saws. Dogs. Actually, no. Dogs, uh, Land Doctrine. We are playing Enclave. Honestly, Principle seems better. It seems more fitting. Seems how we'll be going for the Colonel. Not by blood alone. <laughs> yeah, we are still uh, sending them. Yeah. We are still going to be sending them stuff, so we are still linked to them. Probably best to pick the Enclave one, then. Purity. Not discriminatory target. <laughs> That's a nice way of saying kill everybody. Now refurbish the highway. Masula, Drummond, and Lincoln each get one building start on one piece of infrastructure. Change the popularity of intellectuals 5%. Montana's great highways have fallen into disarray, but Ellen Santiago will spare no expense to improve the lives of, of her citizens. That this will help the army travel is, of course, a nice benefit. Yes, it's the main benefit. It's why we are doing it in the first place. The fact that the, the lives of our citizens will improve is, is the benefit here. How many men are we short? 970. We're not going to be happening upon 970 men anytime soon. <sighs> Having a tough choice deciding which one we'll do. Yeah, keep the chems banned, keep slavery banned. State press might be handy. Though we did get this for free, actually. American soil for American causes. Weekly manpower seven. You kidding me? And again, if it, you know if it's enclave manpower, that's pretty good. I mean, we took like we took five casualties that entire first war against Avra. You know, that can do us one war. And Put forty percent of our casualties toward the, towards the next war. They only ever suffered five casualties in the war, in each war. That's yeah, quite a lot hidden behind the, uh, not hidden behind, but uh, locked behind the focus tree. I think I'm all right with that though. Give us incentive anyway. Now, subsidize the uh, tellurium mines. 5% elite support and drummond gets production of 8 scrap and 6. Uh, that's that's not composite materials. Is it rare? Rare metals, is it? Wrong thing. Oh, no, it was, compos it was uh, composite materials. 
Tellurium is one of the Earth's rarest metals, but invaluable for complex metallurgy. By loaning the first families our equipment, they can expand their mining operations supplies with this precious metal. Is that, is that a real thing? I assume, or is it fake? I, I mean, I'm going to assume it's fake. I've never heard of it in my entire life, but you know, there's plenty of things that I've never heard of in my entire life. In fact, most of the things that exist I, that I've, I've never heard of, at least a majority, because there's just so many things to know about in life. So many ridiculous, such a ridiculous amount of knowledge out there for the learning. Any chance we can do any more of those deals where, uh, Ooh, send energy for power armor, yeah. So we're fully trained? It's fantastic. Are you still training? God damn. When are you going to be ready? Okay, 21st of this month. You already want to be ready, good lord. Have we been training? Not quite sure. Yeah, 3,106, that's not bad at all. The War of the Copper Kings, much to our annoyance, as the historians aren't just teaching people how to cow how to can goods or read, they're also teaching the history of Montana in the north. It seems that almost 400 years ago, rich conglomerates dug deep into the earth, sending Montana's treasures east for a reasonable sum. Despite this rising prosperity, uh, public controllers agitated strikes and bombed corporate offices, perhaps inspired by Red China. Fortunately, the military was able to restore order and keep the state safe, suppressing the strikers with only mineral property damage, a happy ending surely. But it seems some miners take a different tack. They claim that once again the US Army is exploiting the people of Montana for those out east. Ah, now the miners are talking of unions. Uh, take some industry or some energy. I know the miners are talking of unions and rights. The historians, it seems, have caused no end of trouble. So, shut down the historians. 5% ruler support. We lose that national spirit, uh, which I like because I like history. Uh, we have arrest any anarchist organizers. That gives intellectual support. Yeah. Arrest any anarchist organizers. Minus 15 political power and 5% intellectual support. Oof, we've knocked down the. Uh, Chicago to 20%. Chicago faction. Now, harness the Bozeman Hot Springs. 5% people support 12 energy. Fantastic. That'll, that'll keep Chicago off our backs for a while. Heaven's Gate think geothermal energy is the stuff of miracles, but it's nothing but American ingenuity. Ellen Santiago will gladly provide heat and light to the refugees in the town, and to all that we can link up to the power grid, that is. Oh, finally they've deployed. Okay. Decent amount of units, yeah. Put him what into under uh, Carter, he's got the longest front line. Back onto the dogs. Fall of Diana. Great bear. Flamer. Is that new uh, icon for the flamer? Looks different. Oh god, it's a hell of a lot of destroyed industry. The followers of the apocalypse, yeah, we've read all this uh, many times before. We'll let them come in, though to be fair, the Enclave would probably try and kill as many of them as possible. Or then again, maybe not. I mean, they have knowledge, so... Yeah, well, the, the Brotherhood is very... Yeah, but it's different. Like, even the Brotherhood is primarily focused on weaponry and not, like, agriculture or anything like that. That's a... That's basically the primary focal point of Veronica's companion quest in New Vegas, is that she's trying to get the Brotherhood onto preserving other forms of technology other than weaponry and armor. But they're just not having it, no matter what you send them. Whether you send them... Whether you show them a weapon that can take out dudes in power armor, the, the pulse, the EMP pulse pistol, uh, you show them some, I think some... basically some agriculture stuff uh, that the NCR wants. I think it's, uh, it's, it's the stuff in Vault 22, with the, uh, the spores and stuff like that. I think then there's one other thing, but I can't remember what it is. Is it the, uh, what the watcher call it? The fucking Archimedes? I think it might be. No matter what you bring them, though, they say no. And Veronica Lee, well, she can leave. Now, the convoys, 175 units of American salvage truck. Fantastic. Maybe we'll be able to motorize some of our, uh, 
the logistics lines. Yellowstone and Lincoln each get one level of infrastructure. Neither rain nor snow nor raider gang shall keep the convoys of Masula from the road. Ain't they a beautiful sight? And one day we're going to roll this trucking convoy across the USA. That's the truth. We will, I mean, maybe. In the Enclave Path, yeah. But we're not doing the Enclave Path because it's unfinished. God damn, my hand is itchy. That, that's, what you, that's what you're hearing if, if you can hear it. This fucking hand is fucking itchy as shit. I'm scratching it off my leg. Back of my hand. Oh, we're spreading, yeah. Do you have a focus tree? I'm going to assume probably not. Maybe kind of like one of those generic Brotherhood focus trees where like it's got the generic stuff, maybe like for all raiders or something like that, then it's got the unique part. No, entirely. Oh! No, entirely generic. Actually, I should probably check on this, make sure. See if I can level them up or anything. Where's Masula? There we are. Promote. To level one. Fantastic. So now, yeah, we've got quite a lot of the focus tree done. We still have the military tree to start into. We've got all that done, all this done. Could do this. Why not? We'll work our way across. Lessons from refugees. 5% people support. 3-5% resource bonuses for agriculture. That's fantastic. Not everyone who fled to the colonel's domain is an uncouth idle mouth to feed. Some of them can teach us a thing or two. That would be nice. Teach others a thing or two. Excellent. Yes, it is. And I want to see that every time as well. I have got to spend... I don't want to sp uh, spend some of it because... Get other things later on to the focus tree. Are you, yeah, you're decent, but yeah. We can get something here. What, what should we get? Not that. Uh, not that. Sergeant Willis. Doing our part. Montana, we want, to, we want uh, you to know that we remember you out east, but your nation asked more of you to that, and MacArthur asks for some more of you to resettle. I think you mean Chicago asked for more of you to resettle. Uh, and regretfully, we need we will need you to bring your families, but rest assured, the finest life awaits. Indeed, we will promise we promise you will never miss Montana. We thank you for your service. Ah, oh, damn it! Take one of my civilian factories. Head trader, five percent resource gain efficiency, minus ten percent resources to market. Trade deal opinion factor plus twenty percent. Some may mock Willis, but they learn the error of their doing so when their when their rations arrive late and spoiled. Willis is one of the quartermasters from MacArthur and plays a crucial role in keeping the enclave's forces fed and supplied. His ability to haggle with the ranchers and farmers of Montana is nothing to sneer at, and he knows how to make a damn fine Brahmin suit. Hey, that, that's a good trade. Why would you be mocking him exactly? Nope. I bow to no demands. <laughs> Not discriminatory targeting. My god. Airborne assaults. Auto laser rifle. MG42! Yeah, they've really changed this up a bit. A Spurtlewood 9700. Okay. I like the funny words, Magic Man. Now, expand the Poseidon net links. We'll provide five circuitry and five energy to Chicago. Increasing our data links will accelerate our research speed by 7%. Why worry about education for wastelanders when we can merely increase our ties to Chicago's network? The Secretary of Interior knows everything people need to know. Sure.
But all right, lads, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We had some war and we had some build-up towards the latter half of the episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video. I shall see you in the next video, but until then, goodbye.